Dr. Dre produces your first album, right? Mm -hmm. uh, how do you get Dr. Dre, who's probably the biggest producer, and he doesn't just tap anybody. Right. You know, if Dr. Dre chooses to produce your record, that means he sees something big in mm -hmm. you. How do you, at that age, get Dr. Dre interested in you? Does Top Dog make the introduction? Uh, what happens is a lot of work prior to that makes the introduction. I put out a lot of material on um, me and Top Dog, just mixtapes mix and demos, and you know, and you never know how far your music may go. It's crazy because you, you go from writing these songs in your mother's kitchen <laughs> to yeah. you know someone telling you that people of this caliber, this magnitude, has heard the song. Somehow, and now like Dr. It. Dre is yeah. listening. Yeah, yeah, yeah you got to be pretty good if you get discovered that way. Mm. So somebody, somehow one of your tapes ends up in Dr. Dre's hands, and he goes, oh, this kid's got it. Right. I think a YouTube video as well. Some, yeah. Some, oh, some, that some it? shit me and my bro uh, Dave shot on a little rinky deep camera. <laughs> 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 and he saw so that? So it was yeah. very professional. <laughs> yeah, right. right. It made it work. That's probably one that should be one of my best videos today right now. What was it like for you? When, okay, you're still a kid making mixtapes and mm. stuff, and, you know, you're getting your confidence going, and you're working on other artists' albums and all that stuff. Right. But all of a sudden, when Dr. Dre gives you the call, mm. where are you? Does he call you? Does he come visit you? How does that, <laughs> how's that all go down? I was on tour, man, with uh, my brother, J-Rock, and um, I was his hype man. He he, he, he had You weren't a, even the main attraction. Yeah, I wasn't the main right. attraction. I was just there trying to, you know. Uh, get the crowd ready. Get the crowd or ready, right. you know. And uh, me and my boy Ali, we was eating at Chili's. I never forget. It. <laughs> we was eating at Chili's, and we got a call like, "Yo, uh, Dr. Dre likes your music." And we was like, "Who the fuck is this on the phone? Like, Get out of here, man!" <laughs> you hung up. Yeah, we hung up. Oh my! Does that give you the chills? You might have blown it right yeah, there. We might have blown it, but <laughs> another call came in from somebody else. Then another call came from somebody else. Like, "Yo, they trying to reach out and figure out who you with, you know?" And, Do you yeah. feel like you're? entire life changes when you get that call yeah definitely because it's, it's 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 evolving when you get in the studio with them is it intimidating yeah i, t I tell you this the first time was the moment i've knew i've arrived because i'm not only meeting it's just not an introduction he plays a beat and say right to it so I, you're working. I want to see. You're collaborating. I want to see, is this really you? In other words, you're going, yeah, right. He doesn't know for sure that you made those yeah. tapes. But he's also saying to you, you're my equal. Right. I'm yeah. not coming in here. Uh, you're now, we're going to business together. Yeah, definitely. Oh, it gives me the chills. Yeah, definitely. It's, it's, it, it, it's a moment where you got to say, where I said to myself, this is it. 